Hello, this is Seamus Kerrigan from VCE and in this video I'm going to give you a guided tour of a prototype of our management UI for the new VCE VX Rack system. The initial page shows the flow of how the VX Rack system is managed. Let's start with deploy. This screen shows how VX Rack systems can be flexibly managed as logical entities. And this lower level grouping shows how resource pools can be allocated by service type. This private cloud service is managed as a system of both virtual and physical resources. The virtual resources include multiple compute assets such as ESXi clusters, a KVM cluster, and a bare metal Linux deployment. It also includes Scale.io protection domains and groups of VLANs. The physical view shows us the VX rack nodes and switches which are powering the virtual resources. We see a pair of spine switches, of top of rack switches, and a management switch. All of the server enclosures are two rack units in height, but the first four rows are four server node enclosures, and the remaining five rows are one server node enclosures. We can also see a summary view of the rack. Now we're going to see how this management interface can discover new VX rack resources that are available to be provisioned. Here we see how a new half rack and full rack have been discovered. I can hover over the servers to see more detail. Now I'm going to select both racks to begin provisioning. The virtual setup screen is where we configure the software personality. Here I'm going to choose ESXi cluster, Scale.io protection domain, and for the network I'm going to select VLAN based provisioning. Here we see the pre-populated networking information for our ESXi cluster for our storage, and finally, I select the VLANs. Note that during this deploy step, we've sped things up here for the purposes of the demo. Once the resources are deployed, we now see the two new racks. Next up is monitoring. The system dashboard shows the key performance indicators for the overall system. Here is the latest network bandwidth graph. The compliance view shows the results of scans by VCE Vision Intelligent Operations. For network monitoring, we can see how each server enclosure has a virtual port channel to a pair of top of rack switches. The blue lines show the spine switches interconnecting all three racks. I can also filter this view for a particular VLAN. As this is a hyper-converged environment, notice that we always segment the storage traffic to ensure the operator has full situational awareness. Here I select the external VLAN. The flashing orange line indicates performance degradation. Here we see a spike 
after a network port failure. Switching to the connectivity tab, we see that we've lost a port on the first top of rack switch. Under the sustain menu, we can help automate the transition of the system to the latest RCM. The VCE RCM allows you to migrate the firmware and software of your system from one known good state to another. Here I have kickstarted the download of the new firmware and software for the latest RCM. This RCM update provides pre-validated firmware updates to every component in the system, including the individual server nodes. Finally, the support page allows us to access the system documentation and open service tickets with VCE, who are there to support your VxRack system as a single entity. That concludes the preview of the VxRack system management UI. Thanks for taking the time to watch.